Oriwa Mita, a one-shot manga about survivors' true story on the event of the atomic bomb in Hiroshima during World War II. It shows the writer's point of view of trying to escape from this catastrophe and the aftermath of this event on the rest of his life. On 6th of August 1945, the United States dropped an atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima, killing an estimated 140,000 people, many of them civilians. Three days later, another atomic bomb was dropped on Nagasaki, killing about 70,000 people. The bombing resulted in widespread death and injury, as well as long health effects for those who survived. Many people were left homeless and without basic necessities. The bombing also had a profound impact on the Japanese people and their country's culture. I don't think anyone luckily can imagine the terror of the last moment of people who were at Nagasaki or Hiroshima at that period. But if you are a bit curious about what really happened during those cursed time, this next section is for you. Keiji Nakazawa was a young boy living in Hiroshima with his parents and three siblings. On the morning of the 6th, August 1945, they heard the warning of an air raid. But at the engine of a single plane approach, many people thought it was just a scout plane and felt relieved. However, at 8.15 am, while Keiji was on his way to school and everyone was working around continuing their day. The plane dropped the atomic bomb on the city, causing a devastating explosion. Keiji was near a school wall when the bomb dropped and lost consciousness from the blast. When he woke up, he found himself buried under the rubble and the darkness. After a bit of struggling, he managed to free himself and saw the chaos around him. With houses flattened and people with melting skin, neither alive or dead, turned into human monsters. He searched for his family and eventually, he found his mother who just gave birth to his sister during the bomb due to her falling from her house. I can't speak for women. But I think we can all agree that giving birth is the greatest pain a woman can go through. Not just a woman, a person can go through I guess. Imagine now that pain in the midst of an atomic bomb blast. His father, sister and brother were pinned under the house and had died. Days passed and the city was in ruins. With the streets and fields overflowed with survivors, Keiji and his family struggled to survive and had to eat anything they could find, including grass and seaweed. And sadly, his new sister, born in the aftermath of the bomb, died four months later from malnutrition. A year later, rebuilding started in Hiroshima, but life remained a struggle for Keiji and his family, as they were still poor, hungry, and in suffering from the consequences of the bomb. He found solace in comics and drawing, and as he grew older, he decided to pursue drawing as a full-time job. He managed to become a well-known author for his children's comic books, and many of his comics were picked up to be animated and adapted into live-action movies and series. In fact, many of the animated clips that you are seeing right now and throughout the video are from the movie Hadashi no Gen that is adapted from this one shot. Despite the tragic loss of his family and the traumatic experience of living through a nuclear bombing, Keiji was able to overcome the adversity and achieve his dream through his passion and determination. The use of atomic bombs in Japan serves as a reminder of the devastating power of the nuclear weapons and the importance of preventing their use in the future. It also serves as a reminder of the human cost of war and the need for peace and reconciliation. With the uncertainty of the world we live in today and the events happening between Russia and Ukraine, I hope from all my heart that history do not repeat itself, especially because I live in Japan. One sun is more than enough for us. Thanks everyone for watching. Subscribe for more manga stories. Hopefully a little bit happier than this. I hope you are having a wonderful day. See you soon.